Hello everybody, it's Holder McLean and whack to so more Super Mario Galaxy 2 in the last episode. Concerning the fact that it's on time of recording, I have no idea what we did in the last episode, but I know that in the last episode it was the day after my B Day and pretty much we did the comic star of the first Castle Gal I mean the comic star of the Castle Galaxy 01 and then we pretty much did the bonus galaxy of 04. And the star in between both of those galaxies that we did, I cannot remember. Oh yeah, I remember. It's the common star of Royal Master Beast Galaxy. So we did those three stars in last episode. Wow, I actually remember after like a week, um, a week since recording this. Jeez. Yay for memory. So in this episode, we are going to be continuing on to World 4, but first... We are going to be dealing with the comet star of the Castle Galaxy of World 2, aka Bowser's Lava Lair. So let's start. And this comet, I mean, and this Prancer comet is as nice as ever, as, as I may propose. Well, it's not nice as ever, it's a little nice and stuff. So yeah, let's do this. This episode. Prancer Comet Detected, which is Lava Lair Speed Run. And when it comes to this Speed Comet, this Speed Comet is both nice and a jerk at the same time because basically this is basically the real deal grand star of Bowser's Lava Lair without battling Bowser but with a time limit. That's both generous and me because you actually don't need to deal with the um you don't need to deal with Bowser. Yeah you need to race through with like 30 minutes I mean 30 seconds on a clock speed running this. And it's kind of a speed run tactic as you just saw there. And ultimate speed running tactic already. And that sounds stupid. If like if you actually skip Kamek, you don't have to actually look for him because you can actually just launch up and like spin or get to the, into that planet of the galaxy that just skipped to like a whole lot of seconds ago. And man, I that's really zooming through all these this entire planet actually. Anyways, that's actually a speed run just in order to help you out that I just was trying to mention there. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead! And to think I was doing so fast and awesome, then I screwed up. Good thing I'm, good thing I'm packing 25 lives with me. Like, here goes how it goes. Skip Kamek, then long jump, and then there you go, that's your way to the planet. That's simple as that. Don't forget to actually pick up the time bonuses just in case. So yeah, so how is everybody doing to get it today? Anyways, this is actually being recorded on the day after Thanksgiving and stuff. I have a great time with my family during like Thanksgiving and stuff, and I'm thank thankful for many things and stuff. I might bust out this episode. And well, we have a great time. We didn't eat turkey though, but we ate a piece of a turkey. And then like um, we ate some other stuff like rice with it. Spanish rice. Some Spanish rice. Hey Hammer Bro, you die. Okay, the star, the smart star, will lead to the next planet of the galaxy with a time bonus. I mean, you can also, like, all jump and spin to the, to this planet of the galaxy, but you just missed the time bonus. Do the speed run with that extra camera change, and me taking damage almost got cut up pit. I may be a, I may be a fan to Kiddo's Uprising now because of Chunga Kong, where I, but seriously, Pit, just, just stop. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, get the time bonus and then just zoom out of here. Do this! Literally! Thank you! Okay, this will just leave the next planet. But yeah, I had a great time at Thanksgiving and stuff, and I'm thinking for many things like recording, being with my friends and family, all that ass. Hopefully surviving in this galaxy that I think before! Our own limit! That extra one up! Oh, 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 I think I killed myself! I think I killed myself! I was thankful for living and that I screwed up! That's so mean! Dang it! Well, I well even though I make that attempt, so I actually try to build up a conversation in this episode, I am not gonna skip anything. Oh my god! If we pretty much do this comet star correctly in this galaxy, then it's just like dumb quick and stuff. I actually deal with it at all. But if you actually kind of screw around a lot, then you're pretty much gonna find yourself in a pickle. 
RPGs. And there, and even in the Comet Star of the Galaxy, there is a life stream that you can pretty much use in order to, like, help your survival in this galaxy. So, I recommend you guys well. Rather than, like, going straight on the galaxy, and this is gonna be in a whole lot of hell. As it may seem for me right now. I'm gonna take the coin just in case. There's also a time bonus also. I mean, there's time bonus scout around this galaxy, so when it comes to, like, you speedrunning it and, like, all getting all these time bonuses and stuff, this really a bad of a comet start, even if it's the Castle Galaxy of Bowser World 2, it's not that bad. I'm not making any conversation. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> oh no. No Mario. Oh, this looks perfect. This looks perfect. Except for that camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> Time bonus. Time bonus. Don't squish me! Oh, thank god. Thank god. Okay, right back in here. Oh, speaking about being thankful. A couple of deaths later, which is not being thankful game. Why is the guest ain't so thankful to me? I know Thanksgiving was yesterday, but seriously, that's so mean. Ow! Uh, 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 uh. I feel like I'm an old man. I feel like I'm an old man. Oh, thank God, no more of those. Okay, back to here. Oh my gosh, 20 seconds also. That is a sign of pain. Kamek, you F! Get the hell away from your PS4! I mean, it's not all expensive. At, I mean,. I know it's good, but it's too expensive for my freaking taste. Especially for a tally plumber. Oh, uh, 10 seconds left. Oh, 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 oh. I need time. I need a time boost. Thank you. Because the star is dead there, and I don't think I can make it in those 10 seconds. Get the star. Yes! Star! Not a shy, I'm saying, nor a doubt about us. Freaking star! A whole lot of deaths later, this one stupid star acts so easy. <laughs> Ooh, ten minutes. Out of a puppet, one minute you can do this. And after doing that comet star, the the comet star, I mean the price of comet, sweet Mr. Galaxy has appeared, which we'll deal with next episode. But in this episode, we are going to be dealing with hopefully not more hell. And hopefully not more death. AKA the two galaxies of World 4 that I just showed you last episode, aka Super Galaxy and Flip Super Galaxy, but we're actually gonna deal with Super Galaxy first. And as there's only one star, there is a hidden star in this galaxy as well. And this missionary star is huge trouble with the big wigglers. And as you can see here, the gimmick of Super Mar Massive Galaxy is that everything's super massive. Like, basically, the gimmick of this galaxy is that everything is big. I look at this. Big and crazy, yet still beautiful of depth. Especially with the sparkles from this Luma. Talk about a throwback of World 4 of Super Mario Bros. 3. They just had to do that. We're going back here! Watch out! You know, I should actually just do that Lum that Luma's voice, but pretty much like all echoed out and stuff instead of like doing that. That was quite stupid. And on this galaxy, they actually give you the Comet Medal right away if you actually just make a good long jump over here. Which I did. That's the Comet Medal for this galaxy already. Jeez. Don't quit. Okay, now when it comes to this planet of the galaxy, this is basically an introduction to the galaxy that's super massive and throw back to World 4! Oh my god! Please, can I have a break this episode? Thank you, and please! Feeling like Life Moonside. Over here, this will actually, like, give this video, this, um, 
this futuristic green video guide give you what lessons to jumping and spinning. No, it, no, it doesn't actually give you a lesson to jumping and spinning. It actually give you a lesson long jumps. That's what it's trying to do. Dang it! I'm really blowing lives already in this episode, and we're only on to the second star. Holy smokes. At 14 minutes on the clock. I really need to watch this episode. I, need to, I, I really need to watch it while editing this. Jeez. Oh, hello, guy. Hello, you. Hello, Mr. Piranha Plant. Hello, Jake. Hello, super genius. Hello, me not dying! Okay, thank you. Um, there's also a one of the time your long jump well that I got. Now, this part there is these big thwomps, and you gotta get out the way or unless you're insta-kilt. I'm gonna lose most of my lives in this part. I'm really gonna lose all my lives in this part. I'm gonna really lose all my lives in this part. I feel so happy about it. And Jesus, I- UGH! Do I always have to get this coming over the time? Ugh, this is so much pain. So much work. Oh, I eat it. And my baby sister. Yep, sorry, that was my baby sister. Oh my gosh. Have a break! Oh no, my baby sister trying to join Nora. Why am I having such a bad episode today? Jeez, this ain't the Thanksgiving spirit. This is like the turkey killing the ham. The turkey killing the ham. You know what? You no, know no, 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 no. I'm gonna be very patient. I'm gonna be very patient and I stay. And I'm gonna be patient. And don't crush myself! Oh, 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 no, 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 <coughs> the trick to I got these big Koopas and on this part of the galaxy they want you to pretty much kill these big Koop Koopas but you can like even if you jump on those big Koopas they'll just still walk and still like not be in their shell and if you pretty much jump uh, like a lot on them you get a whole lot of one-ups infinitely like this is the trick into getting like infinite one-ups it's one specific planet of one specific galaxy it's so broken, and it's the big main reason of why this game is just so one up happy because of that freaking infinite one up trick with this galaxy is that good. And that's basically how to do it, stuff. Um, if you pretty much wreck up the trick wrong, you might lose a life and stuff, a oh, piece of your life. But if you pretty much do it right, you get a whole lot of one ups. It's just crazy. So that's basically the one up trick of. The famous one-up trick of this galaxy, of this planet of the galaxy, in order to get like a whole lot of one-ups if you're that patient and crazy. Which I am, both. Now on this planet of the galaxy, you just need to get through a whole of these big obstacles and stuff. And I totally skipped that one. Oh my gosh, I'm skipping a whole lot of ass! Uh, I'm so lazy. I'm getting a little pissed. Ugh, let's jump, jump! Okay, let's talk to you because I totally forgot about you. Your spin will work even on those big guys! Try it! Oh, he sounds big actually. And I actually, I'm not actually gonna do that echo thing because that'll just be too much work. After the work I gotta pull through in this episode after like all these stupid fellow attempts. Now, on this planet of the galaxy, um, not this planet of the galaxy, if you actually get this, hit a Bitcoin, they they give you a bridge of yellow coins, so you can so if you successfully long jump like four times, 
you can get all those coins, which I only managed to get half of them. But when it comes to the hint star of the see it's not a hungry woman that's hungry for coins in it. Wow, that would feel very painful for that piranha plant to eat that. To eat that! Eat that! Eat that! Eat that! Eat that big block! That big block. That big block of soda. That big block of soda. Oh no! Oh. Okay, so yeah, there's no hungry Luma with a who's hungry for co coins and stuff, so you don't have to worry about that and stuff, so let's just skip all this. Yes, and just what I was trying to skip, I suck! But did not die! Fortunately! Thank God! I'm about to die from this dude! Die! Jeez, I'm having so much pain this episode. Eh, it must be my luck. I chop out 13 with Chugga Combo. Okay, they're surprising! Okay, now, uh, for the hidden star- Now, for the hidden star of this galaxy, you don't want to get to that large star leaving this planet. All you want to do is run all the way around of this planet of the galaxy. This extra planet right here. And if, we, and if you keep on running around, then, like, flowers and grasses bloom. You want this whole planet full of green planet nature. All around. Everywhere. Like, trying to run all the way around this planet. And it's 3D planet. What kind of piece of plant I'm missing? Wait, what? 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 What the hell? Huh? Wait, but I bloom everything! Uh, something was supposed to happen. Uh, that one piece of flour I was actually missing on that. This. Okay, let's actually just go because this glass actually grow if you actually make the whole planet into flowers it'll lead you to the hidden star of this galaxy and there you go the hidden star of this galaxy this is becoming a stupid episode like what the hell just happened yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and for bloom unlike my day today recording this and after the new star of that galaxy that opens up the new galaxy that we'll deal with next episode. And now we're gonna deal with that right now. And yeah! About all that pressure of losing more lives, I'll see you guys back at Supermassive Galaxy for the actual star of the mission onto where we were at. So see you guys then. I have really didn't watch this episode we're gonna edit all this crack out. Holy jeez. I mean, keep it all in be lazy. Oh, Luigi! I want to play as you! Luigi! And my baby sister spit about the okay. yeah. Why the switch, bro? Thank you! Thank you, Luigi. Actually, recover my day of pain after Thanksgiving. Because the, these stars that I'm doing this episode aren't thankful to me. They're actually evil. And I never actually showed the designated path for this, actually. Um, there's not a no designated path for this. Um, like, pretty much you just go over here and that'll be it. But when it comes to Luigi on this galaxy, it kind of makes this galaxy a little more easier and stuff, so that's basically the difference here. Which I actually do need the easiness for because of how evil this is. Uh, no, no, don't leave with me! What my football team says. Okay, I'm not part of football. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll just part. Okay, get on top here in order to make things a hell of a lot easier. Get that freaking one up. We are down. And coming down. And get the check. And don't mind about wall jumping onto that dangerous contraption. 
go over here and booyah! Yay! We're having fun! We're doing something right! And I should be cutting this all out. But I am. So I can make this as short as possible. Okay, back here, now it's Luigi. Since I cut all that out except for the part where I switched Luigi. Now on this planet of the galaxy, once again, you just got all these freaking obstacles of large stuff. There's a habit with the star in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pretty much know this part of the galaxy! <laughs> 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 Just leave me alone, big sister! Go away, Quake! Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, do you have somewhere to go? I think I hear mom. I think I hear mom. You should go to her and tell what's up. <laughs> okay, back here. Once again. Alright, you wanna skip this planet of the galaxy. I mean skip that planet and go to this final planet of the galaxy for that star. There's a star right there! You just need to go around this circular path and stuff. You gotta go around this circular thing and cross these bridges in order to be there while also being careful with these gigantic wigglers. So gigantic that it wants to kill you. And on this last part, there's even faster and more meter, meter, I mean, meter, large wiggler. Jump over here and dodge their A's and go to this pole, and there you go, star. Gotta shine, Donna Bells. I'm gonna say, star. Star. Gotten by Luigi. Thank you very much. Luigi. Star bits, the coins, the balls, and bees, and whatever. Hey, bro! I'll live in the place these days to the universe. Next time you see me out there, talk to me and leave me in international, okay? Catch you later, bro. Yeah! Oh, whatever. Okay, now for the final galaxy that we're gonna do. Hi, Mario! Hi, Mario! Hi, Mario. Note to self, keep your siblings off of their your recordings. My baby sister is just sitting dead next to me. For this for the end of the episode, we're gonna deal with the two stars of Flipsville Galaxy. Jeez. Uh, and the first star mission of Flipsville Galaxy is flip flopping in Flipsville. Say that five times fast. Flip flopping in Flipsville. Flip flopping in Flipsville. And jeez, I'm also editing this episode hardcore. I told you it might keep my value down because I'm as stupid as hell. But the gimmick of Flip's Bill Galaxy is that basically you got these things. You can actually like ground pound on these little baits over here, on these little floor gates over there, and you're pretty much gonna be slip upside down. And while doing that, it also kind of flips the ga gravity of this galaxy. Like if you pretty much ground pound down. The thing will actually flip up, and when you actually flip it while, while up, it will just flip down the gravity. And you can tell by the gravity because of the arrows of uh, background, actually. Like, they're flipping down and stuff. But they're really flipping up without the sight. And even if you actually, like, go up, it counts as an upside down pit! It really counts as an upside down pit! That's right, weird. And also, you got these new enemies that are very exclusive in this galaxy. That thing's back just looks so pretty! Yeah, these are basically called the Spiky Dillos. As I may call them, they're Spiky Dillos. Except that they don't roll. Anyways, on this planet of the galaxy, you gotta flip to the other side to the last planet of the galaxy. And my- Hey, my sister's on life already. 
Uh, Alright, so the common battle is actually our side of this final part of, the, of this planet right here. And there's a bonus, and this is the bonus, uh, I mean the bonus area of this galaxy. Jeez, can I talk without dying? Uh, you die. You die. Even though that other dude killed me. He's supposed to feel the death. Um, if you actually did this right, you get three one-ups, but unfortunately I did. And I want to get this common metal and of this galaxy is I gotta flip this middle thing over here by ground pound it. Get on top of this. There's a freaking common metal. And also kill these dudes by actually flipping on their pounding parts. And just go to and on this part, just need to go over here. Gonna flip there, and I missed the speech from the captain. Let me make suicide real quick. Can you go somewhere else, please? No, I want Mario Bay. Screw you too! You die. Okay. And I missed the freaking thing. Hey, bridge cap mode. Totally forgot about you before actually entering in. Uh, now it's kind of awesome. Here, yeah, I'm safe for now. Ah, Mario! I was just making sure you were all clear. We spot our boss over there! AKA a boss fight actually. Spoilers to this mission! This is actually a this is actually a minor boss fight, really. A minor boss fight. Yeah. Oh this galaxy, jeez. Uh on this planet of galaxy, you actually got these. You got these chain chops rolling about. Yeah, these chain tops rolling about and they'll pretty much attack you. And like as you can see there, there was a chance to actually kind of like flip the gravity up and try to flip face up. Even though with those chain chops over there. And wow, that gotta hurt. Like if you pretty much like try to flip face up with this galaxy. Um I mean jeez. If you try to flip face up with this galaxy while Chain Chomp is actually being like rolling about, then you'll get damaged. That's what I was trying to say. And if you actually be patient enough with these um, Chain Chomps like colliding on each other, then you'll pretty much get a pack of Star Bits, which I'm not interested in because I got like 9,999 Star Bits. Who cares for my life? Not the game! Anyways, uh, on this planet of the galaxy, I mean, on this planet of this galaxy, you just need to like, you know, flip a bow over here and stuff. There's, and there's these moving platforms that I can actually like, flip upside down right side up and stuff. And you need to actually keep on doing that while also trying to watch out for those red spikes over there. If you flip while those red spikes are on there, you pretty much get damaged from Mary. Oh. Gosh. Mary O. My. Ugh. Oops. Oh, thank you. Cause there's actually a way to run like get over there without going to the. Dang it! Uh, okay, fine, I'll be patient this way for this stupid thing. Okay, thank god. I'm gonna actually go over here and just jump over there. Uh... Okay, back over here. Now you just wanna do is just keep on and what you're supposed to really do, instead of doing right on my fail attempt that I just showed, is that you do not flip and stop and the ah! Why the hell I'm still alive? Why the hell 
Am I still alive? Don't worry, Clay. I was about to die. Please just stop it. Now I gotta say, uh, this final part of the planet of this galaxy. This is really dumb. Cause you're basically going to need to like flip like upside down everywhere over there and try to like dodge armadillos on the bottom. Try to like get on the other side of this fence. Whereas through all those troubles, you can just like backflip it, backflip jump, and then like spin and then there. That's how to get the Lord Star. And I gotta say, instead of an ultimate speed running tactic, tick, it's really called a stupid speed running tactic! Yeah, I call it a stupid speed running tactic because, oh my gosh. Like, seriously, ugh. According to my investigation, you must lure Gloom Dozen close, then cut off. So basically, this boss I'm about to fight is called Gloom Dozer, and I don't have enough for the Luma Shop, but anyways, never mind. Luma Luma Welcome to the freaking Luma Shop! Even though I don't have no money for it, but I don't want to! Ugh! Jeez, what are you? A sick R. Kelly? Jeez, are you a sick R. Kelly? Anyways, this is our boss right here. Lube Dozer. He be very quiet because he's so You know we're making some great noises. Ground powder freaking butt! I'm so mean. Jeez, what a fat so. Someone that cute. Not that cute. Uh, okay, now I wanna cut. Now, this is actually Gloom Dozer over here. Basically, he's gonna be like charging at you and stuff and trying to damage you and stuff. But that's on her first phase and stuff. He'll also stop for a second. I wanna give you time in order to do this. He doesn't need to keep on hitting his belly by flipping about and like flipping where his, her belly showed. But on her second stage, she will pretty much throw out those fireballs which will damage you and also cover down those pipes which will. Damage you if you try to like flip on them and stuff. Both sides will be flipped. I mean, will be covered. And I gotta say, this boss fight is a little unforgiving because you got those coins, I can say. But they're not in a spot in order to get them out if you're not that careful and stuff. And yeah. Like, I actually missed a couple of coins right there. Okay, okay. Jeez. Stop bothering me! Stop bothering me, Bertha! Okay, it's a da- Oh no, he's covering it! Uh, basically, this boss, when doing it the wrong way, and when it comes to you not doing it as all fly as me and stuff, this boss fight can take a little bit of padding. Oh, I- I- Ah, I missed! This freaking opening! That's so close! Yeah, so much pity! Thank you! Thank you! You die! Not not! As she's still alive. But on her third and final phase where she just gonna like like bust out six of these burning things in order to damage you. And will also go faster. Her final phase is basically the death row for you. But not playing this careful. That's how she rocks into her final phase. So you gotta be very, very careful. I just wanna actually lure her up close to those. And I did stupidly. He, she's gonna cover that. Uh. Hey, low dozer. Aim for me. Okay, fine. Do some. Do some of that ass. Uh. Oh, she might for that. She might for that. Hey, that can curve. Oh my gosh. Dude, do that. Get pound damn it. Thank you. And that's how I did Bloom Dozer. Also, the crown that she's wearing, Queen Crown on top of her, as you can see there as I pause it. Like, as I pause it, she's wearing a crown. And that that one specific crown that Gloom Dozer is actually wearing is a spoiler for Shadowing. Find out later on in the game. But after dealing with Gloom Dozer, which was an uh, absolute hell to deal with because it was a whole lot of powdery, there's a freaking star! A SHINE! Thank god.
And that's a star for Flipsville Galaxy. 13 star bits, 10 coins, whatevs. And after doing this, it'll unlock more options for us to do for World 4, aka more galaxies. Yay! We're at some massive galaxy, and now got us coming. Now we gotta deal with it later. <laughs> hey. We're dressed to the baby Luma has arrived! To my last Luma, you were not feel alone. Just know that your friends are behind you. Hope the attached item is helpful. May the stars shine you. This mysterious person. Who just stamped a star with a hole in it. I was a 50 star bits if you read this mysterious person's letter. And though I don't need no stars because, well, I got more than like 9,000. So, jeez. Hey! And to find the episode after doing all the stars and all those galaxies, even though they're ridiculous pattering. <coughs> even though they're ridiculous padding. The final star that we're going to do is Flipsville's New Digs. Which, uh, now, the difference between the star mission and the other star mission is that you don't have these flips, like, you don't have those little gates that you pretty much, like, spin on, like, ground pound on, or, like, change, like, your gravity and all that, but those aren't spiky dillos either. I mean, those spiky dozers either. I think they're called. You got the Meta Bowsers, and you got this, like, um, the drill thing. And what they really want you to do is to just pretty much like drill all around stuff, like drill through the holes and stuff in order to get to the other side. And change the gravity at the same time. So that's how to do it. Everything is actually remains the same and stuff. We already got the common metal, so you don't have to worry about there's another spin drill just in case you pretty much like lost yours to that. Do that is killed. And you pretty much what you want to do is pretty much follow the same thing as before and just go to this part over here. So if you like dig to here and then that's how I pretty much made it to this planet of the galaxy right here. Hey! Hey, to a bridge captain. Whatever. My bridge bailed on me when they got scared. I happened to bravely explore the unknown. I'm scared too. Wow. What a fearful team in this game. Also, if you actually dig on the other side of this part where the Dark Star is at, there's your one up. And yeah. Now, on to this next part of the galaxy. This is no problem at all. Kind of. Just like I said, no problem at all. Kind of. Now, they just give you the little dig thing and stuff. Oh, uh, balls! Yep. Well, these guys gotta worry about. You pretty much like kill them if you want to actually dope this as much padding as you do. But what they want you to do is to actually just drill through stuff and drill through a secret spot to here, like here. If you drill over here, you get up here, and if you drill over here, I think you get to the all the way to the top part of this planet. And what they want you to do is to like drill over here. And it'll work it on top of this planet of the galaxy. And there's a warp pipe inside the galaxy. Which this makes it from a three from a 3D play platforming into a 2D inside a level! A meal's a meal and my dream once again of gaming. AKA all those who combined. So yeah, on this final planet of the galaxy, I mean, on this final planet for the star in this galaxy, in this 2D plane, as you see there, there are some silver stars. And oh my gosh, and if you actually get this big happening coin and get all the coins with it, you get a run up what I was trying to do. Ugh. You just need to collect all these silver stars in like hidden in like nine parts of this planet. Whereas the gravity's changing by the beat of the music. And in order in order to pretty much form those silver stars together into the star of this mission of the galaxy. That's how to really rock this part. Can I get it with the backflip actually? Oh, yes, I can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Up here. I need to get over there. Get it right. 
freaking the thing! I'm turning into jobs, Jeff! What is this, Superman Galaxy 1? Not busting out a throwback or it's funny. And I can't go to the to down there, okay? Hold on, just do the laser way. Ah, that spin right there! Jeez! Okay, okay. Down, Clayton. You're thankful for a whole lot of stuff, aka Rocky's thing, hopefully. Okay, let's go to here, think about in this planet, there's your final superstar, and finally, voila! The star, the second missionary star of this galaxy. Woo! Gosh, a lot of padding, a lot of pain. Also, if you actually, like, time your jump or your digging very well, there's a one-up in the planet that I totally just missed, but hey, I got 36 lives, I don't care. And oh, are you kidding me with the- Oh, never mind, I can do you cheating gravity. <laughs> Stop! Thank you. And yeah, get a one up. And yeah, we did a rocking five stars! We did a rocking five stars this one episode. This is YouTube, people. This is really YouTube right here. Real YouTube. The YouTube which will make you want to laugh and feel happy about. Because, hey, that's how it rolls. In the old times. It's a good thing I actually referenced it at the right time because we actually got five stars this episode. As we did, the comet star of Bowser... I mean, the Comet Star of Bowser's Lava Lair out back at World 2. We did two new galaxies, aka Supermassive Galaxy and Blipsville Galaxy, well completed. And yeah, so that's how, so yeah, that's all for this episode. So in the next episode, not only are we going to be continuing more in World 4, but we're also going to be in the Comets of Supermassive Galaxy. And Sweet Mr. Galaxy. I think there's a Comet on us. So yeah, yeah, that's it. In the next episode, we're actually going to be dealing with these two comments of these two galaxies. And we're going to be busting out a new galaxy of World 4, a.k.a. that galaxy up there, a.k.a. Honey Hop Galaxy. Which is basically Honey Hive Galaxy 2.0 from the first game. What a throwback. What a freaking throwback they made. So, if you like this episode, subscribe to my channel, big love button. Like this video, watch my enemy. Like this video and watch my other videos, and if you're satisfied with those other videos as well, punch a like on them too. This is with Ultimate Clayton, this has been the episode after Thanksgiving, and I'm thinking for a whole lot of stuff, and I'll see you guys then. I love you all, and goodbye! Haha! <laughs>It's only six minutes in the morning. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, what? I could actually speed run over here? Holy jeez, I totally forgot about that. Oh no. Oh no! Saved by the freaking live stream! Saved by the freaking live stream! Let's make this jump perfect. Okay, step on that red spot. Then jump for your life! Wait, what? <laughs> Screw you, Kamek. Screw you, PS4. Oh. Dang it! Uh, let's play pool. And all all crazy like No oh, that wasn't crazy That wasn't crazy yet I still screw up why am I sitting on the last stars in this one planet galaxy